Okay, I'm Karen Scott. I had I started having MS symptoms when I was in my mid teens, but back then I don't even like to say how many years ago that was. Um it was very difficult for people to actually um diagnose MS and I got into this holding pattern of the doctors deciding I was having hysterical reactions to stuff and that's what was making me go blind in one eye and deaf in one ear and um, spastic and things like that and in the end I put my foot down and said right I'm going to pay to go private make me um, you know write me a um, referral and that's when it got diagnosed for once and for all and then everything was fine. I thought this MS is kind of a doddle. It was like I did suffer with things. Like I had relapsing remitting for a long time, but I could hide it. And then when it changed, that's, um, yeah, that's when my life really changed. I couldn't do things that I used to be able to do. Everyone knows that something's up with me. They probably don't know what, but they know that I'm weird. <laughs> I walk with a, a walker and yeah, I don't have the stickability. I can't work for as long as I used to be able to work. I was at the top of my game. I was a manager and I like was basically where I wanted to be in my career. I'd worked really hard to get there and then I just could not do it anymore. I, my company kept me on, but I had to take two steps down. Um, then one day I was at work and I was looking in the paper and I saw this ad for a trial for secondary progressive MS and I was like, holy shit, there is nothing out there for secondary progressive MS. And so I rang the 0800 number straight away and got myself straight on the trial. I think it probably helped that there wasn't that many people that had seen that ad and rung up straight away. So <laughs> I got straight on. Um, yeah, and from there, like the first time round, well, while I was on the trial, it was three months, and my MS got so much better really quickly. Then at the end of the three months, we basically had a weeny bit of downtime while we waited to go on the Compassionate Use Program and all of us that had been on that trial went backwards quite a bit but now I've been back on the, the um, drug for 156 doses so it's 156 weeks and I am feeling some massive improvements again which is awesome it's just happening a wee bit slower this time around well I had been at one stage because I used to have to go to work, walk about half a kilometre to get to the office after I parked my car and then walk up a flight of stairs and I was thinking why am I doing this, this is just, it's ridiculous, I don't need to be working, I'll just deal with you know having a lower income and stuff like that but um, yeah once I went on the trial, I stopped needing to use a crutch to walk. I could hop on one leg. I can't actually do that anymore, but yeah, there were heaps of massive improvements and people were kind of like, wow, what is going on? Yeah. Like, look, people notice more than me because I'm kind of living it every day, but my internal thermostat has evened out. I don't suffer with the heat so much. I'm not dying in my office every day when everyone's got little fan heaters going by their desk and I've got my cold fan blowing on my face. Um, I don't need to drink so much iced water. I can go outside in the summer and it's not that deadly. I wasn't going out to barbecues and things a couple of years ago because it was just too too hot. I couldn't survive the heat. Also the cold, I can last better in the cold as well now, so my body seems to be able to regulate itself a lot better than it has been able to do for years. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. I have more energy. I, my muscles aren't as weak. I can pick up things. I know that Irene at 
and Nate, she was quite amazed when I said I can pick up a 30 kilo bag of potting mix again and because I had, couldn't do that for quite a while. I think um, my leg muscles are still a work in progress but overall I feel a lot healthier. My balance has definitely improved as well like because my balance had been all ski with but quite often if I go to a restaurant to have tea I don't need to take my walker because it's a pain in the butt. Um, I can just take my crutches now or one crutch and rest um, you know look use my partner for the balance on the other side and I am improving all the time it's I know that it's not supposed to make you better, like it's not supposed to cure you, but I am feeling a lot, lot better than I was.